All right, let's do some math, shall we? Now, we are going to be skipping lesson five. Lesson five has to do with these guys right here, pattern blocks and exploring with pattern blocks. We've had plenty of opportunity to play with and to build things with these. We're going to do them a little bit in, in lesson six, but lesson five, we're not really able to do. But in lesson six, you are going to need the lesson six problem set because we're going to be doing that one together. The chances of you having pattern blocks at home to do this page are pretty slim. So we're going to work this out together. Okay, shall we? Now, before we do that, I want to talk about some shapes here. And the first shape I want to talk about is this guy right here, the square. Okay, here we've got a little square, right? Now, if you look at this square, the question is, do you see any little shapes, any shapes within this shape? Now, let me do something for you. I'm going to take the corners and fold them together like this. Now, look what happened to my shape. Instead of a square, all of a sudden I have a triangle. And in fact, if I were to cut this in half, like that, I would end up with two triangles, didn't I? And I can put them together to make a square. Okay, let's move that up here. and Let's bring this shape here, a triangle. Now, what do you predict would happen if I were to fold this right down the middle here? What kind of shapes would be formed? Well, let's try it and see. Take the two corners, fold them together. Look what we have. We have two triangles. Let's cut this. And there we have two triangles. Hey, look what I can do. If I take those two triangles and put them together a different way, I can make a square, and if I take these two triangles and put them together, um, I gotta flip it over. No, <laughs> like, wait a minute. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I have that big triangle. Okay, interesting, huh? Now, what shape do we see inside of this rectangle? Well, if I fold it this way. I've got a square. In fact, I have two squares, right? That way. But I'm going to fold, fold it this way. And what is inside of this rectangle? Two more rectangles, right? So I just cut that along there. Now I have two rectangles instead of one. Now, I can't put these together to make a triangle, can I? But I can put them together to make a very long rectangle, a long and thin rectangle. Cool. All right, now, you should have gone and gotten Lesson 6 Problem Set <laughs> right there. If you don't have that yet, I want you to run and go get it right now because we are going to do some exploring with pattern blocks. How many shapes can we fit inside of this um, it says trace two ways to show to make each shape. How many shapes did you use? Well, here's a triangle. They said they used three shapes to make this triangle. Hmm. Well, let's take some triangles and see if we can cover up this big triangle. Aha! That's pretty good. But do you notice a problem? How many triangles did I use? four. And it says here they used three shapes. So I've got to get rid of this, but look what I can do here. Or more better, maybe if I put it here and here. Now we got three shapes, right? Okay. Now, so what I would want and need to do is with my pencil, I'm not going to do it in here because it's my lesson man, my teacher's manual, but draw a line here and here, and then I would have three shapes. 
Now over here we have another triangle. We could try it, cover up this triangle with these smaller triangles, couldn't we? And how many do you have there? Four. So you could say four shapes, and then you would draw across here, and down here, and down here to make four. You can pause to go ahead and do this if you want, if you need to. But I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try this. If I take this red one and put the triangle on top, look, I made a triangle. And how many shapes did I use there? Just two shapes. And that would take a line. Now, we've got a trapezoid here. Let's try covering this trapezoid up. I wonder if I can use a big hexagon in this trapezoid. Ooh, that fits pretty good, doesn't it? What more shapes do I need? Two more triangles, don't I? Now I will have covered up that um, trapezoid with how many shapes? Well, I would write in here three, and then I could just draw a line here and here. Let's try covering it up with something else. Let's use, hmm, I think I can fit that shape there. And, looks like I can fit another one in there. Hmm, I wonder if there's a way for me. Oh, that looks good. What else would I need? It looks like I could do one of these. And then how many shapes did I use to color this up? Three. I could draw a line straight down here, and then over there, and over there. That's going to be pretty tricky. Can you copy that? Let's try and cover this shape. Hmm, I could do that, right? That covers that up, doesn't it? And then I just use one shape, and you don't have to draw any lines. How many of these triangles would I need to cover up that shape? Let's try it and see. Here's the four that I had before. Oh, not quite enough. Five, still not quite enough. And that is six shapes. We use six shapes to cover that up. One. We need to draw just lines across connecting the things. All right, let's flip it over. Yeah, here's some more different shapes to try and cover up. Hmm, I think I could cover up this with that, but I'm going to need something else, won't I? Maybe that, and that, that looks pretty good. What can I use to cover this up? You know what I want to try? I don't think I can use these. I think the only thing I can use to cover this up are these squares. How many squares? Three. What could I use to cover this up? Well... I like having this at the top, right? Um, I'm going to need some squares. And then what goes down here? One of those trapezoids. What about this sun right here? <laughs> I like having a... Big hexagon in the middle, and then lots of triangles around the outsides of it. I wonder if I can fill it. No, I'm not going to be able to use that. I've got to get some more of these. I think the only way to cover this one up is to put this here, and then cover those. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? You could pause this paper and kind of copy with your lines, maybe even color in the shapes that we used. All right. Now this says how many different ways can you cover the sun picture. Well, if I took the yellow one out, I could put two red ones in. And if I took the two red ones out, I could put three blue ones, right? If I took the blue ones out, I could put six green ones in the middle there, too. All right. Anyway, for your exit sheet, I want you to do your exit sheet ticket on your own. 
it just wants you to see what shapes can you draw in here and in here, and you're just going to have to draw them from remembering about what we did with the pattern blocks. Okay? And then one other thing I want you to do today, and that's the lesson six sprint. See how fast you can finish these. It says, write the number of dots needed to make ten dots. Now, they don't want you to make the dots. They just want you to write which number, how many more dots. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many more dots do you need? One more. So here you're going to write a one right there. And see how fast it can take you to finish this sheet. And then you'll be done with math.